Hi there, I'm Eric and this is It's Project Day, where I share the projects I'm working on with you. This is week two of my robot spider build. Last time, I designed and assembled a leg as a prototype, connected it to the control electronics, wrote some test code, and took it for a test drive. If you missed that video, click the link at the top of this video to watch it now. This week, I'm going to assemble the other seven legs and 3D print the torso and bring all the parts together. Let's get started. Over the past week, I've been printing leg parts, so there's a ton of cleanup and assembly. Last time, I designed the legs as standalone components, including the 3D printed parts, the servos, and the servo horns. In order to squeeze the legs in as tight as possible without collisions, I had to create a mirrored version as well. With all of the space needed for the electronics, the body to leg ratio is going to be high, just like with tarantulas. It was an iterative, trial and error process to place the legs to mimic the kinds of arrangements you'd see in tarantulas, while also squeezing them in as tightly as possible, and also leaving room for the electronics. I split the design into parts for 3D printing after it was finalized. That allows me to test the arrangement of parts in real life in case I get something wrong. Let's head over to the printer to see how it turned out. Just like with the legs, I'm using Matterhackers Pro PLA printed with 0.25 millimeter layers for these torso parts. As you can see, I printed the torso in several pieces to make it easier to get on the print bed, but also to allow me to move parts around because I wasn't exactly sure where the electronics would fit in all of this and I knew that there might be some changes along the way, like for example the, the buck converter. Now I've got to glue some parts together in order to make this assembly work. Okay, so the glue's been dry for a little while, and so I'm gonna put the legs on. All of the legs connect to the torso in the same way. The shoulder servo is put in place first, then the leg with the servo horn get connected to the motor afterward. After the legs come the electronics, and a lot of cable routing. Thanks for joining me on this project. Today I managed to assemble all the hardware parts, which was a surprising amount of work. Next time, I'll be making some tweaks to the electronics, and integrating the IMU into the software, and then we'll get to see this guy balance. I can't wait to see that happen. If you want to see that too, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next project day. Oh, Jesus.